Hello viewers of Tiny Board. Today we are going to talk about Luke Perry. Luke Perry passed away March 4th, 2019 due to a massive stroke he had and complications from it is what got him. They had to put him in a medically induced coma but it couldn't help him. We know Luke Perry as the sex symbol, the face of 90210. We know him as a Western actor, a sci-fi actor, a voice actor, a TV actor. He even got to play Archie Andrews' dad in the new series Riverdale. But we know him as the face of 90210 because he played Dylan McKay, the spoiled rich kid who had been with Shannon Doherty during the entire most of the run of the show. And he was the face of the show. He was the, the brooding. He was kind of Edward before Edward was here on a, on the big screen. You know, you stop thinking about it. Maybe Luke Perry was one of the influences for the design of Edward. Because Twilight was very 90210-ish. He spent eight years attached to the show of 90210. And as Dylan McKay, he kind of influenced us in a lot of ways because we used to stop to watch him if we liked Aaron Spelling TV shows. Some of us didn't. Like, I didn't care for the show. But my brother loved it. And they would follow the adventures of Brendan and Brandon and and Dylan and Jenny Garth, whatever her name was, and Steve. As they went through adventures of growing up and drifting apart and relationships. And we would watch the show and we'd go, this is what life's about. But like all actors stuck in these roles, they want to do more mature roles. So Luke Perry went on to do Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Eight seconds, um, plays, character roles in different TV shows. He was Oz on Oz for two years. He was even a voice actor. Napoleon Bree on Biker Mice from Mars, Rick Jones in The Incredible Hulk, um, and Sub Zero in Mortal Kombat, the cartoon. Plus, how often do you get to play yourself, a parody of yourself, even? Like in in The Simpsons, where he got to play himself as Krusty the Clown's half half brother, or in The Family Guy, where Peter accused him of being gay, or in Johnny Bravo, where Johnny Bravo saved him from a stampede of girls. No actors in their careers tend to get that kind of respect or even admiration from from being themselves. Well, we can say is Coy Luther Perry III did wear a lot of faces during his entire career as an actor. And he will be missed because very few actors have touched a lot of people's lives over, let's say, three generations. You've got him touching 90210. Then you've got all his film uh, special guests. Then you got him ending his career or his life as you as in Riverdale. You know, how do you go from being the teen heartthrob to the father of the teen heartthrob, which is quite impressive. Because even Robbie was telling me today that it even hit his co-worker's heart, especially the one named Wendy, who both her husband and her named her child Dylan, after the character Dylan McCoy K he played, in the show 90210. So how can you not say he left an impact on people's lives? He did. He influenced a lot of people. He influenced a lot of characters that came after him. 
And in Hollywood, which is interesting, is usually you have one break, one role you're remembered for. Luke Perry will be remembered for a couple roles. He'll be remembered for Dylan McKay, Bring Into Life Fred Andrews, and a plethora of other characters, like Rick Jones in the Incredible Hulk cartoon, uh, Napoleon Bree in Biker Mice from Mars, being the animated Luke Perry, not someone imitating or parodying his voice, he did the voice, which is a testament to him as both as an actor and a star in Hollywood. He may not have been a George Clooney level star, but he was still a star, and he did inspire a lot of people. Now with the passing of Luke Curry, what is the future of Fred Andrews in Riverdale? Are they going to recast a character? Or are they going to have him pass away between seasons three and four? That's the big question right now. And who would they cast into the role of uh, Fred, Fred Andrews? It's hard to say. Because when you have the teen heartthrob from 90210 playing the teen heartthrob Archie Andrews' dad, those are big shoes to fill. Since every season of Riverdale ends on a cliffhanger, how will this affect the seasons three to four's cliffhanger and opening episodes? So we will have to stay tuned and see what is the fate of Riverdale. And this is the sounding board signing off.